In this video, I'm going to show you how to make hypsometric tints using contour lines in a new tool called the Live Paint Bucket. You can see here I've already got 20 foot contour lines in here that I've exported from ArcMap and I've made them black and a uh, pretty thin stroke so that you will be able to see the hypsometric tints between them pretty well. I haven't done a lot of work to simplify these lines or to resolve some topology issues or areas where there are just these little contour areas that are probably not appropriate for actually drawing on our map. These are just sort of artifacts of the way that this, these contour lines have been made from the DEM. But we'll work with this anyway and we'll work primarily around Chipman Hill which is this raised area right there. So to start off with I've made some swatches over here and you could either get colors from Cooler or make uh, your own sort of gradient for your hypsometric tints. I've made five swatches here that range between sort of a light avocado green and then up through yellow and I'll use those inside of these contour line areas in order to make tints that demonstrate an elevation change between the valley down here and up on the hill. So to use the live paint bucket, the first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle around my entire page. And I'm going to turn on my smart guides, control U, just so I can draw that rectangle so it'll line up exactly with the corners of the page. And I might have to come in here and grab my selection tool and just make sure that they're lining up exactly with the page. The reason we're drawing this rectangle is because the contour lines you see here are dangling off the side of the page. I'm going to remove the fill from that just so you can see the contour lines beneath. And we need to create a boundary where our fill that's going to fill in the areas between these contour lines will stop. And so now when we use the live paint bucket, the fill that we're going to drop into these areas will stop at that rectangle that we just drew. So now we've got that rectangle path at the top of our contours 20 foot layer. I'm just going to go ahead and select the entire layer. And then I'm going to come over and grab the live paint bucket tool. It's probably buried underneath the shape builder tool. So if I click and hold on that tool on the toolbar and come down to live paint bucket, I'll select that. You can see that you get this paint bucket cursor and it'll show you what color it's going to be painting in the area that you click on. Right now there's no color in that center box and so I'm just going to come over and select a green swatch and this will be the color for our base elevation. So with that live paint bucket tool you can click once to turn your group that you selected into what's called a live paint group and you can see here in the layers that it's turned this into a live paint group. It has all those paths in it. And what that live paint group means is that when you click in a zone, you can see it's, t it's showing you a preview of the zone that it's going to fill. But when you click in a zone, it'll fill that zone with, uh, with that color. And it will essentially turn this area that's between multiple paths into a closed path that you can then fill. So it's a really handy tool for applying areas of color. So I'm just going to fill in a couple of these areas around sort of the base of Chipman Hill. Um, and then I'm going to come grab my next color and I'll work with maybe the next two or three or four elevations. Um, in that color and I'm going to make sure that I select all of the areas that represent that elevation and come get my next color and fill in a few more zones here. Again, I'm just making sure that I am getting all of the bands that represent that elevation with that color. It's broken them up in a few places where there's sort of a bottleneck where the area between the two paths is really small. It's sort of cut them off. I'll grab my next color and you can see you're essentially drawing hypsometric tints by hand with this. And so I'm just sort of working my way around and it is a little bit of a labor intensive process because you are essentially drawing by hand but it gives you a lot of sort of fine control over how you're drawing these tints. And at the end, I'll just sort of preview this by only drawing the tints in this area. You can see that you get this nice gradient with the tints as you work up the slope. And if I come back and grab my selection tool and deselect that area, you can see that you get this nice sort of hypsometric tint sense. 
Now, your live paint group will still be a live paint group even after you've stopped using the live paint bucket tool. There's really no consequence for it being a live paint group. It uh, behaves pretty much the same as any other group, but if you wanted it to no longer be associated with that live paint tool, you could just select that group and then hit expand up here. And it would actually give you a group that had all these compound paths in it that represent the shapes of those areas that you filled.